Welcome back guys, I have the Apple Card right here and I'm going to do a quick review on this Apple Card, what I think about it. And I'm going to cover all of the questions you're probably asking about the Apple Card, which is who can apply for the Apple Card, uh, can Android users get an Apple Card, what are the fees, how much cash back can I get, 1%, 2%, 3%, how does that work? So I'll answer all of those questions and I'll do a quick review on this Apple Card. All right, so this Apple Card is the first credit card issued by Apple and Goldman Sachs right here. This is the first time they issued a credit card and it's through MasterCard here. So one of my most asked question is, can Android users apply for a Apple credit card? And the quick answer is no, because I'll show you right here. You have to go into your iPhone and use the wallet app. So the iPhone has this wallet app and this is a Apple wallet app. And I didn't have to install this wallet app. It's already in here. So this is the Apple wallet app. I can add credit cards to it. And you'll see I have my Apple card in here. So that's why Android users can't apply for this credit card because you need the Apple wallet app to use it. So let me start from the beginning here. When I applied for this credit card, I went to the Apple wallet or I can go into the Apple store app here. And I applied for the credit card directly on this phone. And you know, it took about five minutes and it issued me this credit card immediately and I can start using it right away. It, uh, it asked for a couple information, asked for um, a scan of my ID and needed to make sure I'm over 18 to apply for it. And then I can start using this card right away. But to get the physical card here, I had to go in and request a physical card. So can Android users apply for the Apple credit card? I think the short answer is that you cannot because you need the Apple Wallet app to be able to use the card. Uh, even if I didn't have this physical card, I can purchase everything with this phone by swiping it over um, a pay terminal and all transactions go directly into my phone. See, I can see all my transactions here. You'll notice right here, I got 2% for using at Target and that's because I used it with this phone. Here's the thing with how much cash back you can get. If I'm paying for purchases using this phone, which is using the Apple Pay, then I get 2%. If I'm using the physical credit card here with the machines, when I pop this in and pay for it, I get 1%. But if I make any purchase that's from Apple, you know, like Beats um, headphones, uh, the MacBook Pro or AirPods, then I get 3% on that. That's how the percentages work. And it gives me cash back on it. If I click on that right there, See, I can see my daily cash back that I get. And you know, one of the things that stopped me from using Apple Pay for the longest time was that I didn't know how to use it until I got this Apple card and I learned how to use it. So I'll make it easy for you guys here. Apple Pay is just like Google Pay or Samsung Pay. It's the same thing. And this is how it works. This is the difference between an Apple credit card, Apple Pay and Apple Cash. So Apple Pay is just a method of paying for something. It's the app itself. It's this wallet app and I can use any credit card that I load into this wallet app. I swipe it over the pay terminal and that's Apple Pay because I'm paying for it. Apple Card is the card that sits in for Apple Pay. It sits in this wallet. So you notice I have two credit cards loaded in here. I have my Chase card over here. I have my Apple Card here and I didn't set up Apple Cash, but I can if I want just go through there and set it up. Apple Cash is just like Venmo or PayPal, it's loading a uh, Apple Cash card into here. But the difference is I have to load money into Apple Cash and able to send money to friends or receive money from friends. So Apple Cash is for sending money and receiving money just like Venmo. And you know, Apple made it very simple to get this card. When I applied for it on my phone, I checked my credit, checked everything, it gave me my APR. And that's the only thing that they have on this Apple card is the interest rate. They have no hidden fees. There's no monthly fees, yearly fees. They don't charge you if you overcharge. They don't charge you if you pull out too much money. It just adds on to your balance and they charge you interest on it. That's the only thing they have. They have no hidden fees, which is pretty awesome. And you know, with this Apple card, I do have the lowest interest rate. They gave me the lowest compared to my Chase card. And most of my purchases, when I'm using my credit card through Chase, it's only giving me 1% back. I think like most of the time, it's just 1%. 
And that's the same thing with this Apple Card. If I'm using this physical card at a restaurant or anywhere that doesn't use Apple Pay but it requires a credit card, then I only get 1% and it's with everything. I get at least 1% when I use this physical card. So yeah, Apple made it very simple to get this credit card. I applied for it directly on this phone. I got it immediately and I could start using it. And then I went into the phone and I had to request a physical card and it took about a week to send me this physical titanium card. It looks pretty awesome. And it came in this card right here. It came just like that. Look at this right here. It said I just had to hold my phone up to it and activate it for me using the chip. And it was very simple. I held it up to it and boom, I pressed the button and it just activated it. So they made it very simple. And I'll show you guys right here. Since there's no credit card numbers on here or pin numbers, I just simply go into here. I go to this um, details page right here and I can click on card information. And that will show me all of my credit card information, the card numbers, the pin numbers expiration date and I can use that to make a payment uh, online to buy anything online so here's another cool thing about this credit card it relies on a secure element chip that's built in on this and uh, any purchases that I make it goes directly to this phone all these purchases here Apple says that they cannot see any purchases that I make however Goldman Sachs can see the information because they're the one issuing this card so they have the data and Goldman Sachs, you know, have, they have in their uh, privacy statement saying they won't share any of the information with third parties or for marketing for any of that. But just to let you guys know, Apple says they cannot see any of my transactions. Everything goes into the phone. So one of the biggest questions that everyone have is what if I lose this phone, right? Because I have to pay bills using this phone, using this app here. I can't pay bills online at the Apple website. There's no website for this. There's, it's not like a um, bank website or anything like that. So how do you make payments if you lose your phone? Well, there's two options. Um, you can use an iPad and you can make payments using that or you would have to call Apple support and they will direct you to Goldman Sachs uh, support team which works on this credit card here and they will help me make a payment but you have to do some verifications. You know, you need um, your ID, phone number, couple of informations like that. Um, what I should do is scheduled monthly payments so that if I miss a payment, it won't add on to my balance and charge me interest rates on it. So that's the thing. If I pay my account balance every month, if I pay this all off every month, uh, there are no fees. I don't get hit with interest rates or anything. And I always do that for my credit cards. Every month I pay off my bill. I don't do the minimum payments because you will get hit by interest rates. And then I get all this cash back from it. And I do love the wallet app here. It shows me so much information, my weekly activities. It shows me daily cash back. That's the difference with this card too, is that with my Chase credit card, uh, to get cash back, I have to wait till the end of the month and then it calculates how much cash back I get. With the Apple card, you can get daily cash back. As much as you spend, uh, it shows you right away all the cash back that you get. And then I can start using this right away. So like I said, one of the things that turned me off on using Apple Pay was I didn't know how to use it. So I'll show you guys right here. I went to the store and I bought an ice cream right here and I, I'll show you guys how to use the card. It's very simple. Once the card is loaded into my wallet app, I simply double tap the side button here, double tap it twice, the card comes up and then I just scan it on the machine. And you do have to scan it in the right part of the machine, but you'll hear the phone beep and that's when you know that the purchase went through. And then when the purchase goes through, I'll get a notification on my phone immediately on the purchase. And let's say if I lost this physical card, you know, it happens all the time. And let's say someone uses it at a gas station to pay for the gas. Uh, I'll get a notification and if I notice that, hey, I lost my card, I didn't do this, I can go into my settings here. And see, I can lock my card or I can request a replacement card. So they make it very easy without calling them up in case anything happens. If I'm traveling and I feel like I'm not going to use the card, I can just lock it up. And if I lost this card, it's no big deal. I can request a replacement card and they made it very simple to get a whole new card. And guess what? All of my numbers are on here. It's not on the physical card. So it's very easy for them to generate a new card number. But so far using the Apple card, I want to say I love doing Apple Pay now. I've never used Apple Pay before getting a Apple credit card. And now everywhere I go, I look for Apple Pay on the machine and I, I swipe it. And one last thing before I go, guys, this card is made of titanium and it can scratch up easily. So keep it away from inside your pockets with keys. 
I suggest getting a credit card holder and I have this right here and I keep it away from my other credit cards. There you go, that is my review of the Apple Card. I love it. I hope this video helped you guys out on learning about the Apple Card. And sorry Android users, I don't think you can get this card because you need the wallet app to use with it. And this is only available for iPhones. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Mm -hmm.